Etymotic can and probably should be thought of as the granddaddy of IEMs, considering the sheer richness of their history and influence within this market. However, something which they've been awfully slow to implement in their lineup is some sort of Bluetooth solution. This was to be changed with the introduction of the Etymotion, a proprietary unit specifically for Etymotic's ER series of IEMs. Now, they've gone ahead and packaged the Etymotion BT with a variety of different ER series models, making it the first all-in-one wireless IEM package from Etymotic. In this case, the ER3XR and Etymotion package really consists, as the name implies, of two separate products. So let's firstly deal with the ER3XR. There really is not a great deal of difference in terms of the design of the ER3XR as compared to the vast majority of Etymotic's other IEMs. In fact, it's most closely related to the flagship ER4 series, but apparently it hasn't undergone quite the same rigorous driver matching as the ER4 series, and there are also some differences to be found in the specified sensitivity and impedance figures. The main difference here between the ER3XR and my personal favorite, the ER2XR, is the fact that the ER2 series employs a dynamic driver. Other than that, save for some minor cosmetic differences, Etymotic has stuck to a tried and tested design, which is used across a whole bunch of products. It's the same fairly minimal, cylindrical design approach, which is intended to be inserted deep into the ear canal for maximum noise isolation and optimal sound frequency response. The cable connector is also the same proprietary MMCX connection as found on other models, which means that you can use their cables if you want to use the ER3XR found in this package in a cabled configuration. Speaking of, that is something to note here, as there is no additional cable included in the package for a straightforward wired connection, so you may need to purchase an extra cable if you want the option of using it in that manner. And that leads us to the second part of this package, the Etymotion BT. This is again something similar we've seen from many other manufacturers, but as a first for Etymotic. The idea here is that the main module houses all of the necessary Bluetooth components, the deck and amplification circuitry, and the inline remote control. Of course, the downside here would be that because the cables coming out of the main module are fixed, this Etymotion is only compatible with Etymotic's own ER series of IEMs due to the proprietary MMCX connection. Internally, the Etymotion BT houses a rechargeable battery, but unfortunately it has a micro USB connection rather than a USB-C connection. Converting the digital signal into luscious audio goodness is an AK4331, which features AKM's Velvet Sound technology. Etymotic also went ahead and included both aptX and aptX HD connectivity, but sadly there is no support for LDAC or aptX low latency. There's also an inline remote control for your usual playback control such as play, pause and skipping tracks, but it also features a built-in microphone. So if you've got it connected to your mobile device, the remote can also be used for answering phone calls without having to use the microphones of the mobile device. Overall, I think Etymotic did a pretty good job here, but I think most of us would also agree that this is a pretty dated approach to wireless audio. True wireless IEMs are increasingly eating up the market, so it's difficult to gauge if someone would be willing to give up the convenience of a TWS solution in order to use their favorite Etymotic IEMs in a more wireless manner. But we'll explore that a little bit later. As far as the sound is concerned, again, we've got two different products to take into account here, so let's first focus on the ER3. Etymotic is known for creating IEMs which are precisely intended to give you an accurate sound signature as they are more intended for audio monitoring rather than music playback per se. That's sort of where the whole XR lineup comes into play as the increase in the bass presence is more appropriate for music enjoyment whereby a little bit of added bass tends to make music more enjoyable as opposed to a flatter, perhaps more sterile presentation. However, don't make the mistake of thinking that this means that any of the XR series could be described as being overly bassy, not even close. This package, consisting of the ER3XR and the Etymotion BT, is a little bit different, however. Taking a look at the frequency 
can see response graph, we can see that the response is pretty flat, with a very slight overall downwards trend from the base to the treble. This indicates that it has a slightly warmer signature, along with a bit more bass presence as compared to the rest of the spectrum. Still, this response doesn't sound quite as warm as what you'd find on a dynamic driver-based IEM, even if it produced the same response graph, and this will probably be due to the difference in timbre that you'd get between a dynamic driver and a balanced armature driver. So for the 3XR with the Etomotion BT, even though it has an ever so slightly warm signature, it's more of a dry and punchy warmth. For the most part, the signature is pretty much what you'd expect to get from an Etomotic IEM. However, this ER3XR doesn't really sound quite how the ER3XR would usually sound. And that seems to be precisely because of the Etomotion BT. Comparing the responses of the ER3XR with the Etomotion BT against the ER3XR connected to a regular cable reveals that the Etomotion BT is actually adding some presence in the lower registers. The presentation of the ER3XR connected to a regular cable is noticeably flatter and arguably less engaging when it comes to music playback. I'm not sure if this is due to the Etomotion BT applying a little bit of a bass boost, or if it's perhaps the impedance of the Etomotion BT which affects the balanced armature in the ER3XR in such a manner as to alter the signature. But whatever the case is, the change is noticeable, and it's something you may or may not want to consider if you're looking at purchasing this kit. Right, so as for the closing thoughts on the ER3XR and Etomotion BT kit, I think it is a pretty reasonable little kit for someone who specifically wants to use the ER3XR in a more wireless manner. You can often find this kit for around $170 or so online, and for that price, it's fairly reasonable. However, I also feel that for most people anyways, that price and the less convenient nature as compared to a TWS solution is becoming increasingly difficult to justify. The Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, for example, can also be found online for roughly the same price, but just offers so many more features, convenience, and surprisingly good audio quality. To be fair, the design of the ER series of IEMs simply doesn't allow allow for a TWS type of solution. So perhaps in that regard, the Etimotion BT really is the best that Etimotic could do in order to take the ER series into the wireless arena, but it would have been nice to at least see a few more modern additions such as USB-C connection, Aptex low latency, and perhaps even LDAC connectivity. Oh well. Well, that's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like button and do consider subscribing. That's all from me for now, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.